Yes, yes, Coppers boys, man. What are you lot saying? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep this one short and sweet. My my head still my head still gone to be honest. Um, three one defeat last night to Madrid, Champions League quarter final first leg, and and I know we like to do it the hard way, but we've left ourselves a flipping mountain to climb now, man. Um, no fans as well, so that Anfield factor is kind of it's gonna be a bit of a myth now. Um, I think we can probably all agree we all underestimated Madrid in it. Like we, we got two gas from the Arsenal game on the weekend. We were playing a below standard team, and we thought, yeah, we bopped them off the park. We thought we can do the same to Madrid, but nah, Madrid, um, Modric, Cruz, they showed us what time it is. I mean, Klopp, Klopp's got to hold some serious corn, man. Um. Matt, I know you're a big, big fan of Naby, but that wasn't the game for him to be starting. That was not the game to be bringing him in for his first, one of his first starts of the season. Like that, that wasn't it, man. Again, up front as well. I know Salah bagged his goal, but we are we looking toothless, man. Looking completely toothless. Like not really creating anything. I'm, I'm worried. It's the wickedest thing is as well. Like it's now looking like top four is our best chance of getting Champions League next season. Which no one would have thought they would be saying before the tie, but that's how it is, man. That's how it is. Uh, we move, we move again onto onto Saturday's game against Villa. Hopefully, we can secure three points, but I don't know, man. I, at this point, I I just want the season to be done in it. Just want the season to be done. But yeah, listen, big up you, man, at Coppish. Um, check out our stuff as well. Weird and Wonderball. There's not really too much to say, man. It's been pff, we done our post match last night, and it was it was it was peak. It was peak in it. But yeah, big up Coppish every time, and we gotta just keep moving in it. Let's go, boys. Let's go. What's up, Coppish? My review after last night's Real Madrid game, and that was so disappointing. But as much as it was disappointing, it was a reality check as well, because I think they're just levels ahead of us. I'm going to be honest about that because we can look at individual errors leading to each goal. Trent and Phillips not tracking the run uh, for the first goal. Trent mistake for the second goal. And obviously we could say, Alisson, maybe we should have saved the third goal. But forget all that. Realistically, when at half time, the shot stats are eight to zero or whatever it was. And, you know, Kabak's making mistakes that, and obviously there's that two on one counter attack before their third goal. And they had many more openings. They could have scored a lot more. You know, it's, you know, 3-1 actually could have arguably flattered us in the end. So th there's no excuse at that point. There's just levels to it. And I think, um, yeah, we, we fell we fell very short last night. Um, I agree with Drifty in the sense that Kabak and Phillips, at best, they are they are backup centre-backs. And even then, I think we should only have one one of them. One, one centre-back at that level. The other backup needs to be a lot better, in my opinion. Um, Obviously, ideally, you want both better backups, but I think, you know, I'm just, I'm just trying to be a bit realistic with the with the way our spending is. Um, and obviously, it is harsh to judge them on one game, but that, that's the harsh reality of it because obviously, this is the level we want to be at. I'm, I'm not hearing the good performances against Arsenal or whatever because Arsenal didn't test us whatsoever. They had like two shots or something. They didn't, they didn't even test us at all. So, um, yeah, looking into the second leg, I'm not hopeful just because obviously you can talk about Barcelona and, and comebacks at Anfield. But I think because Barcelona happened so recently as well, Real Madrid will not want to make that same mistake. And I think if you look at it this way, if Real Madrid scored two, which is very possible considering they could have scored like six last night. If they just scored two at Anfield, you know, they could do that in the first half if they really wanted to. Then it's game over because then we need five. And... Yeah, that's just not happening. So, um, I don't know. Obviously, never say never, but I'm, I'm not hopeful whatsoever about the, about the next leg. So, it's looking like no Champions League next year. But, you know, we keep our head up and, and move. Big up Coppish. Boom! It's your boy Saint from Saint LSC TV. Shout out Coppish. Shout out Amandam each and every time. Callum, Drifty, Man Like Matt. You know what time it is. Boy! 
That was mad. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. That's just sinking in, boy. That was mad. That was a that was a real uh, shake up, innit? Like, you know, and it just, you, you walk around thinking that you're big, like, you know, them ones there, and then someone just bah, claps you, like, don't even ball their fists up. They clap you open handed. That's what Real did, bro. Just slapped, man. Like, we're walking around thinking we got Nat Van and Dyke and all of this and Kabak and. Yo, that, that was a real realisation, innit? Nah, nah, we need to circle, innit? We need to circle. Um, I'm disappointed, man. Uh, I'm going to be honest, I'm very disappointed. If I don't think there's a better chance to be Real than now. And we folded. That first half was such a shag. That first half was some of the worst football I've ever seen. Swear down. That was crazy. I was thinking, bro, nah, 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 nah. This is, this is... Is this Thursday? I'm thinking, nah, hold on. This must be some. This must be. This must be Arsenal or something. Nah, it was dead, 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 dead. Couldn't string a pass together. It was mad. Cater, bro. He he needs to go in the summer, innit? Really and truly, he needs to go in the summer. Let's not say much more about that, innit? Um, I don't think Klopp done well starting him like big man. Like, he's having issues, and in a quarter-final, first leg against Real, this is when you want to go and say, yeah, do your thing. Oh, that was a bit higgy. Um, and him chopping him just before the half was definitely a message, innit? Um, Thiago come on, looked a lot better, done things, you see what I'm saying? Um, but in the second half, we should have played like that in the first half. I don't know what happened. Like, that man said, like, the copish you lot said in, 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 in the um, reaction, like, they just looked shook. Super shook. Second half, we're playing one-touch football, moving it around in that. Like, we actually looked a threat. Obviously, we scored. Do you know what I'm saying? Um, Jota didn't have the best of games, but at the same time, he he created something in order for Salah to score. Mane, big man. Yo, it's it's you, you know. It's you that's on the back of this top, you know. Man can't be bothered to all turn around in that, but it's you, bruv. Like, big man. We need to chat. Like, fam... Yeah, um, Bobby looked decent when he come on. Listen, it is just all mad, in it? Like, we're going to have to do a lot at Anfield in a place that's leaky like a sieve right now. Martin. Um Yeah, I think we just need to buckle down in the league, innit? Just just, just get our heads down, deal with Aston Villa, deal with the next one and just, just keep on going, in it, And just see what we can do, in it. Obviously, Chelsea showed that they're not, do you know what I mean? They're not in, impenetrable um, and, and certain man around us, Tottenham, all of that. Do you know what I mean? Like, it, it could be, it could get sli slippy for them, man. So we need to be in the best position in order to capitalise. <sighs> what can I say in it? Donna, again. Say for you, man. Hello, everyone at Coppish. Um, yeah, yesterday's game, what a shocking performance. Very disappointed and very shocked with the performance. Me, myself, was very excited and was up for the game last night, especially with the performance at Arsenal. Very good, very comfortable performance by the Reds. And I felt like we could have got a couple of away goals and kept the tie in reach for bringing it back to Anfield and getting the business done there. Um, but for me now, we're completely out of the tie. It's going to be so hard to at least score two goals and keep a clean sheet, which <clears throat> a couple of factors go into that. Last time we scored two goals was Spurs at home, I think. And then we even conceded our recent home form, lost seven on the bounce, which is absolutely ridiculous. So it's not looking on stats-wise, it's not looking good. Bringing it back to Anfield, needing to at least score two goals and keep a clean sheet. It's going to be very, very hard. So for me, I think we are at the tie. We just, but if if it was two one, I'd be, I'd think maybe, but three one to score two and clearly clean sheet is going to be very, very difficult with our defence as well and with Trent. You don't know what you're going to get out of him each game. You could have a world class performance or can have a bit of a nightmare, which he did last night against Vinicius Junior. But I feel like a lot of people are hating on Trent. Because obviously he made a mistake with the second goal and stuff like that and was very def defensively very poor and didn't do much attacking-wise. But I I'm always going to back Trent and I feel like if you ask any Liverpool fan the question, would you replace Trent, they'd all say no because he's such a great talent and um, yeah, he's had an off-season but a lot of players have had off-season. Sadio Mane not been to the best he, he has at all. I think he's been... Um, had under the cracks a lot recently, had some very shocking performances, very poor performances, whereas when Salah plays bad, he will score a goal.
goal, he's still a threat in the attacking third to put the team under pressure and get a goal. Whereas Mane can't really do anything of his game, taking on players, he doesn't do that, scoring goals. Recently, he hasn't been doing that, so... At least with Salah, when he's playing bad, he can still produce a goal out of nothing. Um, but yeah, I feel like for me, the whole team needs to regroup. You've got a massive game on Saturday in Strange Villa and must win for top four, which again is going to be tough. I don't want to see changes. I don't want to see stupid teams. I feel like for me, you just got to play your strongest team from now to the end of the season, unless injuries occur. <clears throat> maybe just rotate a couple of players, like maybe put Milner in midfield for Wijnaldum to give him a bit of a rest. Just things like that. Nothing too big. No, no massive changes in class and ability wise. Just keep them relatively similar. Like I said, you'd bring in Milner or Chamberlain or Naby just to replace one midfield three if they're getting a bit tired, a bit leggy in that mid- in the middle of the park. But yeah, very disappointed with yesterday's game. It's a massive game next Wednesday, but it's, it's I'm excited for it, but I'm also not because I feel like it's just going to be a bit of a stinky night and we are going to go out the Champions League for good. But yeah, just I just... Liverpool, what, you don't know what we're going to get with us, do you? But Saturday is a massive game and so is next Wednesday. So, Wednesday, so it's a massive week for Liverpool, the week coming up. Well, there's some passion we didn't show last night. We didn't show any passion last night. What was that, lads? What What the heck was that? What was that? Like, go... See, I'm going to... There's a few things I need to say. There's a lot of things... There's a few things I need to say here because, you know, I'm, there's a bit of going to be a bit of a rant here and I'm not going to... Not going to you know, I'm not gonna sort of for, for, forget what I said. I'm, I'm gonna believe in myself what I said, and if anyone disagrees with me on it, that, that's your problem. So, anyway, when I saw the team, Kira was in there, and I thought that's a bit strange because you, you know, I thought Thiago, Fabinho, and the genie midfield have been working all right, it's, you know, and Kira for me, I just thought, you know, we'll see what happens. I'll trust Klopp on this decision. Did not work out at all. Just did not work out. It just didn't work out. And uh, and from then on, we didn't show any sort of passion or even fight to go forward. And that's what this club's all about. Especially when it comes to European nights. We get up right off these games. And I get, yes, Real Madrid are a better team at the minute than us. And, you know, but show a bit of passion. Show a bit of leadership. For minute one, we didn't show any passion. That's just like, you know, it just for me, it's just, this whole thing is just based upon either the defence or else I'm in field partial not working within the Keita coming in. I thought, I thought the front three were invincible. We didn't have any shots on target for the whole first half. We didn't have, any, we didn't have anything. What is What was going on there? So Remedy scored the first goal. You know, you can blame Kabak and Phelps, yes. <laughs> you know, for me, it's just, it has to do better than that. And uh, then 2-0 then happens, and then you've got this sort of lines of, oh, God, we're going to switch off now. We kind of did switch off. We kind of did switch off. Keita comes off in the, 40, 30, in the 41st minute for Thiago. That just shows, that just shows how much Thiago was needed, even though people might not rate him. He still was needed. He still was needed. Half time comes and I'm just like, we're, we're out of this. We're just going to drop heads again in, in the second half. Now, all right, we kind of scored the goal to come back. And, and I can't, but I, even when, when Real Madrid scored that goal, lads, I wasn't even confident because I just thought that our defence can, can get at and that's what happened. We've, we were punished by that Real Madrid front line and that midfield three of Kamal Samiru, Esco, and Modric were basically building us and uh, yeah it's just um, not looking good at all but yeah I, and the substitutions after the two substitutions that were Shakiri and Firmino but taking Kabak off that was that was like what what are you doing with the club there you have to question club on those decisions Can't, I just don't know I'm, I'm pissed off at the moment not getting off this game you expect more from this, from a Liverpool team like we just didn't. It's a, it's a, it's a Champions League freaking core final here. Show some fucking passion. I'm sorry for swearing. I don't care if I swear. Show some fucking passion for Liverpool in the Champions League. Seriously, even if you go out, show some passion. We didn't. And and to be honest, this this um so called second leg comeback, it would have to be, it would have to be even better than the Barcelona for me, because there was a crowd in there, fifty thousand crowd that was that was cheering the lads on 
to win that. We don't have the crowd this time. This is going to really test us if we're mentality giants. But I don't see it happening, lads. I really don't. I really don't see it. Anyway, that's it for me. You know, terrible performance. Should have got up for it. Move on to Aston Villa. Now listen, if we lose to Aston Villa on Saturday afternoon, that's top four done. Because why would you trust in this team? Why would you trust in this team? And like, so... Just win Super Saturday. I'm just pissed off at the moment, you know. And uh, anyway, up Team Coppish and everyone, uh, the lads of the community. You know, and congratulations on 20k. You absolutely deserve it, uh, because you worked so hard over all these years to get up for the community. So um, congratulations, lads on 20k. Anyway, up the Reds. You never walk alone. Yes, yes, people. It's yours and truly, Laser LFC. First of all, yeah, I just want to say a big shout out goes out to Team Coppish for all the amazing work they've put in. They've just reached 20k subscribers, and you know what, people. One thing I want to say, for those that are always watching Team Coppish's videos, yeah, don't just stare there at the screen. Make sure you hit the like button, man, comment as well, and share the thing. And most of all, subscribe, because these men deserve way more subscribers than they got. Do you know what I mean? Been watching these men for years, and they put out amazing content. The work that goes into it, you know, being a YouTuber, the live streaming that they have to do. I just have to send a big shout out to them, man. So big up you guys, Callum, Matt, Drifty. Big up yourselves, yeah? Well, anyway, yeah, on to the game. As we all know, Liverpool lost 3-1 to Real Madrid. Boy, what have I got to say about this? It, was, it, it wasn't good, man. You know, the first half, the first couple of minutes, well, five minutes or so, you could see what was happening. We almost looked um, in awe of Real Madrid and I believe we showed them too much respect. And I'm surprised because, like, where was that intensity? Where was that hunger that was shown against Arsenal in the previous game, which was a Premier League game? You know, I know it's a different competition, different sort of opposition. But for me, I wouldn't say Real Madrid is there for the taking because a lot of our fan base were getting hype and gassed, you know. And I'm guilty for it. I hold my hands up. I was getting um, excited and thinking we can do something. But when the news broke out against um, Varane with an illness, a bout of COVID, a lot of our fan base were like, yeah, definitely we're going to win. I was having some crazy st score lines being thrown about. I thought we could do something. I ain't going to lie. I'm going to admit it, I did. But when, you know, the boys took to the pitch, it was just a different story. And like, it's a shame because I've been singing um, Nat Phillips' praises. Most of us have been. We've been giving him um, nicknames like Virgil, um, Phillips, you know, Naldini, etc., even Beckenbauer's been thrown about, you know, he's been getting his head to everything, you know, the memes that's been going around the place as well, we know he's very good aerially, you know, a lot of us have said, look, if football was played in the air, he'll be world class, but you can see he's not caught out for this level, guys, he's not ready for this level yet, because he was getting exposed, you know, he lacks mobility, you know, Vinius Jr. took the piss, literally took the piss on that um, side, that side of the pitch, you know, our right side, Right, he took the piece, man. Trent Alexander Arnold as well was getting shown up again today, and I felt that it was too hyped up. It was too aggressive, you know. It was too heated, you know. I don't know where that came from. I know he's been through a lot recently, and you know he may feel a way that he's being left out of the England squad. You know what Gareth Southgate was his comments being said. You know, I know that would have touched the nerve, that would have hurt him because we know he's a good player. There's a quality player in there. We know. His defensive side of the game sometimes leave a lot to be desired. He's got to work on that a bit more, you know. But as we know, for the last few years, a team like us, Liverpool, we've been on the front foot in, like, a huge percentage of our games. If, if anything, most of our games are set when we've come against top opposition like Manchester City and games in the Champions League. You know what I mean? We're saying three years, straight, non-stop attacking, you know. But, like, today now... I don't know what was wrong with him, man. You know, we nailed him as well. He was sloppy in the first, like, half an hour or so. You know, and he was our captain and I'm very disappointed on him because he's supposed to be one of our um, senior players. You know, he was given the captaincy. He's supposed to be a leader. You know, we should have rallied the troops. You know, it was like, we look tired. The boys look tired, man. I'm not going to really go into it and diss players because Naby is another one. It just didn't pay off. To be honest with you, when I see Naby Keita come 
Why it started, I should say. When I seen that became a start for Liverpool, I was shocked with that. I thought, whoa, like what clubs, what is Club trying to do today? Like what is he trying to achieve? You can see we're trying to throw a curveball, but for me, he just sort of stopped with the trusted three in the midfield of Thiago, Ronaldo, and Fab. That's what he should have done for me. Do you know what I mean? Jutta didn't quite, you know, have a good game today. He just shut himself. You know, he just went, he, he didn't have a poor game, but it weren't coming enough. The same thing with Mane. You know, the same old trying to make things happen, but the ball was bouncing off him. His first touch was bad. You know, he was getting doubled up a, a lot as well, man. Real Madrid sort of, you could tell they did their homework well and did what they needed to do. Because let's be honest, guys, we did get gassed against for the Arsenal um, victory. I was one of them. You know, you would have seen my review. I was gassed to the moon. I'm telling you this now, like, if you lit a lighter, a lit a match, yeah, in my um, base where I was, it would have blew up, you know, because that was the gas levels that man was on, do you know what I mean, but for me, when you deep it, yeah, and check it out, we haven't been creative enough, yeah, Shatter's come up with the goals, yeah, he's been very um, clinical, you know, coming up with the goals, Salah, every now and again, popping up, but other than that, we haven't been creative enough, we haven't been creating chances, we haven't been clinical, it hasn't been good enough, and for me, we're going to have to take, you know, the boys are going to have to take a hard look at themselves in the mirror, and, and, and answer themselves this, do they want to be in the Champions League next year? Do they still want to play in the elite competition? Because if they do, they're going the wrong fucking way about it. They're going to have to show what they're made of against Aston Villa. For me, it's all good saying, yeah, we've got to give a good performance because we did that against Arsenal, but it counts for fuck all today, right, against Real Madrid. I don't care how we do it, Get those three fucking points against Aston Villa this Saturday and then we move on to the Real Madrid game. For me, I would have been one to say, yes, we can still do it, you know, because we've been there before, you know, 2004, Olympiacos, you know, we've been there in 2019, Barcelona, everybody knows that story there. But what are we missing, guys? We're missing our 12th man, the Anfield crowd, they're not there. So that's going to be tough, man. we got no support. And I'm just hoping, like, I don't really want to put this in the air, but surely there might be some man them up Anfield that's just going to kind of do some kind of greeting. We just need to just show some support, whether it's lighting or fireworks or certain. Do you know what I mean? Because the boys are going to need it. We have to start thick and fast in that game. On the front foot, we got nothing to lose. Because either way, you know what I mean? We have to try and get Champions League one way or another. Or another. We have to do it, guys. Do you know what I'm saying? So for me, the next week and that now, I don't want to see Kater back in the side. I want to see the same guys as you usually do. Do you know what I mean? I want to see Jata start again. I want to see Jata, Mane and Salah, right? We're going to have to start the same back four, but something worries me, right? Klopp might change it up because Kabak and Phillips were exposed bad, but I want Fab, right? at the base of the midfield as a six, you know, because he's been great there. That's his best position and it helps us immensely. But for me, we're going to have to adopt a different strategy because that high line business, Kabak and Phillips, yeah, they've been great in the Premier League and keeping key sheets together. But at this level, you can see they've been exposed. And for considering his young Kabak as well, he's, he lacks mobility for me. Like, he's a bit stiff at times. He gets caught out a lot on a turn. Do you know what I mean? You can tell Real Madrid done their whole work badly. And, you, you know, they've got an experienced manager. A lot of people writing them up saying they've got an aging team, Madrid, Cruz. Them, man, are serious winners, Bedrin. The serious winners, people. You know, some of them have won four Champions Leagues, three on the trot. Do you know what I mean? But, boy, I ain't even going to keep this one long, man. I'm going to leave it as that, yeah? It's yours and truly, Laser LFC. Big up the Coppish man name. Big up all the Liverpool supporters and community. I'm gone.